Dicloxacillin is a narrow-spectrum beta-lactam antibiotic of the penicillin class. It is used to treat infections caused by susceptible, non-resistant, gram-positive bacteria. It is active against beta-lactamase-producing organisms such as Staphylococcus aureus, which would otherwise be resistant to most penicillins. Dicloxacillin is available under a variety of trade names including Diclosil, BMS. Medical uses Dicloxacillin is used to treat mild to moderate staphylococcal infections. To decrease the development of resistance, dicloxacillin is recommended to treat infections that are suspected or proven to be caused by beta lactamase producing bacteria. Dicloxacillin is similar in pharmacokinetics, antibacterial activity, and indications to flucloxacillin, and the two agents are considered interchangeable. It is believed to have lower incidence of severe hepatic adverse effects than flucloxacillin, but a higher incidence of renal adverse effects. Dicloxacillin is used for the treatment of infections caused by susceptible bacteria. Specific approved indications include staphylococcal skin infections and cellulitis, including impetigo, otitis externa, folliculitis, boils, carbuncles, and mastitis. Pneumonia, adjunct. Osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, throat infections, streptococcus, septicemia, empirical treatment for endocarditis, surgical prophylaxis. Available forms Dicloxacillin is commercially available as the sodium salt, dicloxacillin sodium, in capsules and as a powder for reconstitution. Contraindications Dicloxacillin is contraindicated in those with a previous history of allergy, hypersensitivity, anaphylactic reaction to any penicillins. Adverse effects Common adverse drug reactions ADRs, associated with the use of dicloxacillin include diarrhea, nausea, rash, urticaria, pain and inflammation at injection site, superinfection including candidiasis, allergy, and transient increases in liver enzymes and bilirubin. On rare occasions, cholestatic jaundice, also referred to as cholestatic hepatitis, has been associated with dicloxacillin therapy. The reaction may occur up to several weeks after treatment has stopped, and takes weeks to resolve. The estimated incidence is 1 in 15,000 exposures, and is more frequent in people over 55 years old, females, and those with treatment longer than two weeks. It should be used with caution and monitored in the elderly, particularly with intravenous administration, due to a risk of thrombophlebitis. Interactions Dicloxacillin has potential interactions with following drugs Warfarin Methotrexate Tetracyclines Resistance Despite dicloxacillin being insensitive to beta-lactamases, some organisms have developed resistance to other narrow-spectrum beta-lactam antibiotics including methicillin. Such organisms include methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. Mechanism of action Like other beta-lactam antibiotics, dicloxacillin acts by inhibiting the synthesis of bacterial cell walls. It inhibits cross-linkage between the linear peptidoglycan polymer chains that make up a major component of the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. Medicinal chemistry Dicloxacillin is insensitive to beta-lactamase also known as penicillinase enzymes secreted by many penicillin-resistant bacteria. The presence of the isozazolol group on the side chain of the penicillin nucleus facilitates the beta-lactamase resistance, since they are relatively intolerant of side chain steric hindrance. Thus, it is able to bind to penicillin binding proteins PBPs, and inhibit peptidoglycan crosslinking, but is not bound by or inactivated by beta-lactamase. See also Beta-lactam antibiotic Flucloxacillin References, <references>